can I get a burrito and some vinaigrette? Can I do no rice? But I'm gonna do pinto beans. Can I get a generous amount of chicken al pastor and then I'll do half steak? Oh, that chicken al pastor is fresh. Look at that salon show. Can I get some more? Please? Yeah. Can I get some queso? Wait, can he add more chicken? Since it's not a lot of steak. <laughs> Damn, no rice, no rice on the burrito is kind of crazy, dude. So I discovered this woman not too long ago on the TikTokies, and people are flaming this woman for what she's doing at the, the Chipotle's, dude. Now, usually the Chipotle will be flaming you, if you know what I'm talking about, but she is notorious on the TikTok space for the amount of food that she consumes, and we're going to go through... Oh man, it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna really see some big back behavior in this video. It's gonna be crazy. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe too. That's good. Yup, yup. I'm gonna do um tomatoes. I'm gonna do extra tomatoes. Extra. Extra sour cream. Damn. Extra um, That thing is already big as fuck. Look how massive it already is, dude. This guy's gonna struggle to even like the, the, the this right now is probably still closable, but as it becomes more and more food, the fact that she only got meat on this is crazy. I mean, she did put some a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that, the, the, the red stuff on there, right? The tomatoes. But still, dude, it's all meat. Damn, bro. I get more sour cream and more Damn. I get extra cheese. Damn. And then I'm going to get the guac on the side. <laughs> I'm going to get a side of sour cream. Woo. Look at that. That's, you're not going to be able to close that. You're going to need to double wrap it. There's no other way to say it than that. This, this thing is massive, dude. I mean, I would have just given it to her like this. This is so disrespectful for the worker. No, please. No, thank you. None of that, dude. Just let me get extra. By the way, it's crazy to even say, let me get extra before the dude even put out the portion. You know what I'm talking about? Like, if you're asking for extra, usually you refer to the food first. So, like, you get the food, the cheese on the food, and then you go, let me get a little extra on the side. Let me get a little bit extra. Don't, you don't just immediately go, let me get extra cheese. That's crazy. Let's see if he can wrap it. That's crazy, dude. The fact that she's even questioning that. Let's see if he can wrap it. Ooh, Damn. If you have to double wrap it, do it. He don't know how to close it. <laughs> I appreciate it anyway. Thank you so Ooh. much. Damn. Damn. Oh. Sloppy. Oh. Look at that. Like a wet diaper, dude. Not good at all, man. I don't know how how people can eat this 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 food. It's so much compactness into this thing. Like that that alone has got to be 2000 plus calories on that. No joke either. That's a ton of food on there. Damn, bro. Jeez, man. Twelve dollars for that is actually insane too. That's actually no money at all compared to all the food that she just got. They must not have charged it for the extra, 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 because usually they do. But I mean, the one that I go to, I've only ever eaten at Chipotle twice in my life, dude. It's always been like thirty-five dollars or forty bucks for all the fucking Chipotle orders, and it was like two portions. It was just like two plates. Crazy amounts of money for Chipotle, and it's like. It's all right. Like, the food is okay, but I don't think it's worth that much. $12 for that, though, is insane. And then... <laughs> and then this is the, uh, this is the aftermath. As you can see, this is the food in question. Bro, this woman is unparalleled when it comes to the, uh... When it comes to her delicacies, her creations. I know y'all heard how immaculate that motherfucking crunch was. Now, let me show you how to achieve that. I kid you fucking not, bitch. This burrito had to be wrapped three times yeah. and it needed two tortillas. This burrito was so big to the point where the worker could not wrap it and he just gave up, bitch. I kid you. It's not even it's not even a flex to say that. Like, why would you <sighs> to go in Chipotle and make the worker do do this particular type of work, dude, to wrap it two times, wrap it three times in a tinfoil, dude, and you over here bragging about that shit? That's just big as fuck. That shit is massive. That shit is literally bigger than your entire wrist. And you're over here bragging about that shit? Why is there even a pot? Okay? I want to know. Was it not sufficient enough 
to have the 2,000 plus calorie burrito wrap that you made that literally didn't even have rice on it. You triple stacked meat on that shit. And you're over here talking about, let's make it even crunchier. Is that not sufficient already? Why are we trying to enhance the enhancement? Not. Go ahead. God damn. You putting cheese? And sprinkle your choice of shredded cheese on a medium high pan and just lay your burrito on top of that. That's. Cheese. So we're going to cheese wrap it. We're going to we're going to have the cheese as a layer on top of the just some pure big backed behavior, dude. I mean, the food alone should have been sufficient, but to uh, you know what? Fuck it. I mean, at this point, you might as well add in a couple hundred extra calories. Why not? Once you start seeing the smokiness come from underneath the burrito, you then want to use your spatula to scoop underneath it. I, I love how this is like I love how this is a like a technique, you know, like people are searching for this recipe like, oh, how do I get this recipe? Go to your local Chipotle, get triple meat of whatever the fuck you want, quadruple stack it with everything else, right? Forget about forget about the rice, and then triple wrap it, and then bring it back home, get cheese, and cook it on a pan. It just seems like too much effort. I might as well just make this shit at my house at that point. Why is it so much work? And push the burrito to the side so that way you can layer more cheese oh. for your burrito on the oh. other side. I initially just wanted a crispy burrito with no cheese, but since I was low on cheese, bitch, I was like, let me use the rest of this cheese and show y'all how to make what it. Do you, what do you mean you were low on cheese? That dude literally coated that shit in cheese. You literally asked him for extra cheese before he even put the cheese on it. And you're over here talking about some you were low on cheese. I would, man, these people have a way of speaking and it just kind of, like, it irks me so deeply, dude. Like, it's, it's just... A Chipotle burrito that's been overstacked to the brim, and then you coat it with cheese. Because who the fuck knows when I'll be craving Chipotle again to do a whole fucking tutorial. Crazy, bro. It's not a tutorial, by the way. All you did was go to Chipotle, get a fucking $12, $13 burrito that should have been worth, like, 40 and then bring it home and coat it with cheese on the pan. Bitch, look at this fucking burrito, ho. That's crazy, bro. That's not even a flex, dude. That shit is literally bigger than your entire head. And you know what, dude? Just because I'm a good person, I wanted to make sure that the content that I did on this woman was not, like, unfair in any way. So I went I went ahead and I went on their Instagram to check out their Instagram. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm okay with people twerking if you want to do that. It's fine. It's fine. Like, it's okay. I know it's like a pastime or whatever, right? To twerk your butt cheeks and stuff like that. This woman is obese and she twerks so much on her Instagram. No problem, by the way. I don't care. But... <laughs> I noticed a pattern as I was scrolling through the gram. I noticed that she would only get an increased amount of likes when it wasn't her face showing, dude. And I, I'm not even, I'm not playing, dude. I'm not playing. I'm not going to show anything on her Instagram because most of it is literally just, I, I, I mean, I could smell the butthole through the screen when I was scrolling through her TikTok. And I mean, her, her Instagram, which no problem, by the way, if that's, if that's the content that you want to promote, that's what you want to do. We've all shook ass every once in a while, right? Maybe some more than others. I've maybe only done it twice in my life. Don't ask me those times and scenarios. But um, I was scrolling through and I seen that she was getting like triple digit likes. Okay. Triple digit likes on the normal pictures of her face. And then when she would twerk with no face in the in the, in the the frame, it'd be like 5,000 plus likes. That shit is crazy, bro. That that right there, that shit's really got to really weigh on you, right? No pun intended. Thinking about how... The, the the most interaction you get is when when you don't show your <laughs> when you don't show your face. That shit's really gotta fuck you up, right? You gotta be over. You gotta be over analyzing that. Am I ugly? Am I ugly? And by the way, I think quantity over quality is not the way to go when it comes to butt cheek capacity. I'm not saying anything about her, but personally speaking, I would prefer a nice, firm butt cheek, man or woman, um, as long as it was quality as long as it was built right squats and praying to jesus are the things that that ensure the goodness of the butt cheek quality but if you're over here bragging about your butt cheek capacity and you're walking you're walking around with that double triple watt quadruple domesticated butt cheeks and all you did was in order to get those was like over consume you know like whatever it's not good i i hate to say it dude I don't, I don't appreciate it i just don't if it's lumpy i don't like it dude if you got that nest quick shit if you got that cottage cheese butt cheeks i'm not i don't like it i just don't i don't know why so many people love it dude i know a lot of black guys that pray to the to the fat butt cheek gods you know they, they get down on their knees and they go like yeah please god let me get that ass i love the ass the ass all day and shit right i hear that a lot but for me personally dude i would prefer a smaller butt cheek as long as it's more condensed if that makes any sense but uh anyway dude let's watch this woman consume a uh, lots of calories 
Yeah. It's not a flex to have this shit be as big as your fucking head. That's just crazy. I could have birthed this motherfucker. Yo. We're going to add sriracha oh. inside the vinaigrette. Sour cream. You're not, bro. Bro, dude. So you got the vinegar. <laughs> you got the sour cream. And you got the sriracha all in the same sauce. Is that good? Can somebody let me know about this combination? Am I just missing out, dude? I feel like this is a forbidden combination. Woo! That's wow. The sriracha okay. gives it a little sweet taste. That's why I have sriracha. On the mm -hmm. on the burrito is okay. Damn. Mm. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. You know, if you're really serious about munching this shit down, roll the hair back, right? Take the hair, roll it back. You ever see pornos where the girl is like, where the girl's sucking meat, right? And then she go like this. Hold up. <laughs> Put the hair to the side. <laughs> right? That's what you got to do when you're consuming something like this. Because you got to get you gotta get all the shots. You don't want to get the, the, the meat grease from the burrito into the hair. I know the hair ain't real, but it's all right. Put that shit to the side. Roll it back. Put a bonnet on. Whatever, dude. It don't really fucking matter. Does it matter if you wear a bonnet? I know people that tell me, oh, I would never. I would never wear a bonnet on public. It's not presentable. It's not for me. It, it ensures that, you know, I'm a low-quality girl. And I always think, like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, you got, like, 90% of your content on the internet is just you twerking. What are you What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. You might as well wear the, the, the bonnets don't even look bad. Can we just be honest for a second? Bonnets are cool now. All right, wear a bonnet. Man, woman, whatever you want to do, wear the bonnet. It's fine. You don't have to be black to wear it either. And then also, let's talk about this for a second too. If you think it's inappropriate to wear a bonnet because it's less presentable and you're sitting here body body washing an entire like four pound burrito with literal, with literal meat water stains all over your mouth from the burrito, wrapping that shit around your hand, just put a bonnet on. Put something on, dude. A bonnet, bib, whatever, dude. Couldn't even bite into the whole thing. She took a quarter of the first bite off of this like little portion, this little like side portion. It's not good. And you got the Doritos too? What? Oh, you put the Dorito in the fucking burrito? Yo, that's not, nah, that's crazy, dude. You put the Dorito in the burrito. I don't even know where the Doritos came from. Why did you put the Doritos? This wasn't enough food for you? The burrito is literally bigger than your head. And you got you got more food? Oh my God. It's just unsanitary. It's like a wet baby diaper, dude. It's just, it's just too much. And you got the pickles too. What are you doing? Why are you just spawning foods out of nowhere? Mm -hmm. No. Damn. Damn. Mm. Damn. That's just crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. What? What have we? What have we come to here in America, dude? We 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 just got it so good nowadays that people can just go on the internet and upload two three minute videos of them just body slamming four pound burritos with doritos on the side calorie counts in the fucking thousands <laughs> fucking think about this right for all of time people were starving okay but like all of human history people didn't have enough food and now suddenly when we have enough we're sitting here body washing three thousand calories worth of burritos things that are the size of your fucking head and and not only that you can't even bite into the whole thing you have to take like portions out of it you know what i'm saying like we have we have succeeded so so greatly that this is like our new standard of love right well, this is what we do now we post videos like this on the internet mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. stop it scrape off that fucking scrape off that whatever that water juice thing right there on the side of your mouth is Get that sriracha liquid off your mouth, dude. I don't, you know, one of the reasons why people eat things in a wrap is that there's a barrier. There's a buffer in between you and the food, right? You know that. I know that. It's the reason why burgers exist, hot dog, hot dog buns, right? Is because there's a barrier between you and the food. It's the bun. The same thing with the burrito. It defeats the purpose to slather, to slather a whole bunch of whatever sauce she just put on that on top of it and coat it in cheese simultaneously. 
It just doesn't make sense. I don't know why people do that shit. It doesn't make sense. It's like those people that stupidly put put chocolate the chocolate mixture on the outside of the cup when they make like coffees. You know what I'm talking about? Or people that like they have the cheese. You know what I'm talking about the melted cheese and they put it on top of the burger and it like splithers all across the burger and they eat it like that and they have to eat it with gloves or something like that. What are you doing? Why would you make it harder for yourself? It's a burger. It's a burrito. It shouldn't be difficult to eat. It should just be like a, I'm going to eat this food today and it's not going to be hard. The fact that she's making it this difficult is insane. God, God damn. Mm. It's not good. It's not. Come on. Mm. Why'd you need the Doritos? Damn. Damn. That shit. Whew. Oh. Oh. Ah! The big gulp too? God damn. You just like find, you just trying to find ways to increase the calories? Hey, why are you drinking it like that, dude? Just take, just take a solid slurp. You don't need to continuously slurp, unslurp, slurp, unslurp. Man, your hands, you gotta, you gotta take a shower after eating something like this, right? I would start sweating after half of it. Like, am I wrong, dude? The amount of grease, the amount of just disgustingness on this plate? Bro. You're closing your eyes to drink it is crazy, too. God damn. It's like, you know what's like watching? It's like watching those nature documentaries of watching like a lioness eating like a baby gazelle. You know what I'm talking about? You ever see one of those things where like a baby, like a, a gazelle is giving birth and then she gives birth and then she looks back and she sees a fucking lion. And so she runs off and the baby, the gazelle's just like, you know, like this, what, what, what is going on? And then they see the lion come out of nowhere and the lion doesn't even do anything because it knows it's like, oh, it's a baby gazelle. You know, and the baby gazelle's like, are you my Bob? Are you my Bob? Are you my Bob gazelle? How come you don't look like me? How come you don't look like me, Bob? And it's like that. And then the lion eats it. Fresh spawn. Fresh spawn. Except that would be a little bit more entertaining because it's like the nature, you know, it's like the circle of life. And then you also have David Attenborough documenting it. Here in the African jungle, we have a baby gazelle freshly born and a lioness eating it alive right that would be way better but here we just got an obese woman eating a four pound burrito with some doritos on the side mm. god god damn you're blowing the toilet up after this right damn on the doritos is crazy dude this is sloppy as fuck she's gonna finish it too I'll give her that. She, she's she got a good portion of it down, dude. Half down already, bro? You got to give her that. She is putting it down fast. Mm. God, and she's having sides, too. It's just, This is serious. This is serious big back behavior, dude. Mm. Oh. 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 There's enough. Oh. Oh. There's enough in your hands, please. It's not. It's not. It's not. Mm. In the, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Damn. That shit's crazy as fuck. I never, I've never seen a technique like that. Dip it into ranch sriracha, sriracha vinegar, and then dip it into the, then dip it into the guac, and then proceed to then dip it back into that other mixture, and then into your mouth. Wow, the technique is unparalleled. Jesus Christ, dude, this is some, this is borderline king content, right? There's no way people are watching this. Like anybody that is enjoying watching this has their meat out, 100%. There's no other way to say it dude you got the meat out you got the baby oil that's what it is you're waxing your shit right and the other people are probably watching this like oh my god what are you doing oh this isn't normal why are you doing this to yourself there's so many calories you're not getting anything out of it jeez i just like when she takes a bite and she goes mm. What are you pointing at, first of all? What does that even mean? Like, if you're pointing at your food... 
Oh. Oh. What does that even do? What? What are you telling me, dude? The wig is installed correctly, though. I'll give her that. Mm. <laughs> God damn. That's like a family of three people right here, dude. That burrito, you could literally cut it into threes and feed three people individually with this shit. But she said, nah, for me. For me, for my mouth. I'm going to feed my mouth with this. It's big and it's for me. Woo! And a pickle. Get that shit in your mouth. Oh! She took the stem with it. Hey y'all, we hit over 100k, and of course I had to bring out the motherfucking slutty motherfucking taco. <laughs> yeah. So the only thing that I don't have on here is pico de gallo. That's crazy as fuck to say that, dude. It's to sit there and say the only thing I don't have on here. That's crazy. That's a crazy ass thing to say because that implies you have literally everything else, and you're only missing one thing. What is this? What are you putting on here? What is that conditioner? I guess it doesn't matter. You might as you go ahead and cucumbers add some sour cream damn to all my tacos bro that one on the right you killed that shit that shit is thick as fuck dude that shit is dripping is that why she calling it slutty tacos bro you get the sloppy seconds from that shit this look like a homeless man might have had sex with it it kind of looks like it like like maybe a homeless guy uses shit as a fleshlight so what right fuck it you don't fucking care and she got the cheese dip on the side dude that's crazy, bro. What's this over here? And I did add jalapenos. So you added it? These are jalapenos. What is this hair? Why do you have a piece of hair sticking out of your... I mean, honestly, it probably increases the flavor, right? Whoever made this, whoever made these tacos, the hair is going to help. At least she wore in a bonnet. I'll give her that. Wearing a bonnet for these particular types of videos is incentivized. It was a rookie mistake not to wear a bonnet in the other video. Jalapeno shell tacos. This right here... I tried this and it's so good. I got it from Costco. What is that? It's a mango salsa. I'm going to add it on my tacos. Because Damn, bro. This shit about to bring it to a whole <laughs> I just love that. I'm going to add it to my tacos because, bitch. Another level. Okay. I didn't add the pico because Ooh. I wanted to add this. And, oh baby, my God. when I tell y'all, it's oh so good. Oh, my God. Ugh, so fucking good. I don't care. It's so sweet. And. There's got to be a limit, dude. Like. I get it tastes good in your mouth. I get it. But it just gotta be... It's too much. It's too much, dude. I don't, these tacos are not even... They're not even tacos anymore, bro. These things are built up like skyscrapers. There's so much packed into them. Flavorful. Definitely gonna There's be enough. To Come on, no taco. more, dude. That's you cannot it. go without the pickles. If it's not these pickles, you're not doing it right. That's all I'm gonna say. Drink it. Mm. Whoa. This technique is serious, dude. I thought she was just about to take a bite out of the pickle, dude. I did not think she was going to lay the pickle down on top of the taco. This is some forbidden technique shit right here, dude. Nah, bro. Not on every yeah. single one. Nah. I like a messy. <sighs> Y'all, my phone was messed up yesterday. I fucking put my phone in water yesterday when I was in the pool. And I literally held my stomach in all day just for these tacos. That's a lie, bro. You know she body washed. You know she fucking swallowed something down yesterday, though. Don't fucking lie. And I haven't eaten all day, so it's perfect. No, it's not perfect. I don't care if you didn't eat all day. This is... Each one of these tacos got to be 800, 900 calories easily, dude. The, you got to think about it. You guys, you, you guys might think, David, they can't be that much. They, look at... Look! Look at them! Look at them! That's not 900 calories per each one? Suck me. Those are 900 calories per... Cause your girl got her phone fixed. And she yeah. got the cheese. Yeah, into it. Hmm. Oh. 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 It's not that good. I don't care what anybody says, dude. Ain't there's no way this woman gonna be rolling back her eyes like that over some fucking processed ass tacos, dude. Where'd you even get these things? Damn. Why are you covering your mouth as if we didn't just see what you just did to your throat? I don't care at this point, dude. I've seen you do some things that I feel like I shouldn't see. I feel like I've seen I've seen better respecting of somebody's mouth in pornography than I've seen what this woman does to her throat. It, it, there's no other way to say it than that. She's disrespecting her she's disrespecting her mouth every day with these foods. It's just what it is. There's got to be some type of 
credit. There's got to be some type of like, I give a little bit and then I take a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? An exchange. You can't just disrespect your mouth all the time like this, dude. It's unfathomable. Oh my God. <sighs> oh my God, what? What is what? What does that even mean? It's just, it, 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 what? What is it? What? Why is it so good? What are we even doing with the cheese dip? Why is the cheese dip here? Y'all, we got a Calypso. We're going to try this thing. No, anything but water. Anything but water, right? Fuck, we need the calories anywhere we can get them. Let me say this is Southern Peach Lemonade. Hopefully y'all like it. If I don't like it, What do you mean, hopefully y'all like it? We're not drinking that shit. What the fuck you talking about? What do you mean, hopefully y'all like it? You're the one body washing it. I'm drinking water. What? Southern Peach Lemonade. Hopefully y'all like it. If I don't like it, bitch, I'm drinking water. Yeah, that's a lie. Damn, she eating it vertically too. Mm. Have you ever seen somebody eat a taco vertically? Aren't you supposed to eat it from the side? You're not supposed to eat it down the middle like that. That's crazy as fuck. Dude, that'd be like having a burger and turning it sideways and going like... That doesn't make any sense. What the fuck? <sighs> Yo. Oh my god. It's not good like that, dude. I don't care. It's not good like that. That mango salsa, baby? Yeah. Yeah. Get that shit and put it on your taco, bitch. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, she scraped up the Oh my god. Oh my god. She scraped up the residue and then proceeded to swallow it. Oh. We don't even know what these tacos are. Like, do you think that she went to a taco bell and was like, "Yeah, anything that you can find on the floor, throw it into the taco." I don't care. I'm literally about to coat these things with like nine other ingredients. It doesn't matter, honestly. And you know what? People online, they won't even know what it is either because I don't know what it is. Whatever you can find back there, put it on top of that shit. I don't care what it is. Throw it on there. <sighs> nah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <gasps> <gasps> You got so much already on the plate. I don't know why you need to lick your fingers. Mm. It's not good like that. Damn. Damn. Let's try this southern peach. Yo. Damn. This one is good. Okay. I like it, this one. I don't think you got taste buds. Why is the cheese dip here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. True. That one good, girl. That one is good. Look at that taco. It's all right. Mm. Don't do it. Don't do it vertically. Oh, damn. Damn. Mm. <sighs> what are we doing to ourselves? The spice, the sweetness, baby. Mm. Your ancestors are looking down on you. You know that? Like, you got generations and generations of people that died and, and fought in wars and, you know, fought for other people's rights. So you could sit here right now and body slam these 900,000 calorie tacos. Like, don't you don't you feel like you maybe owe it a little bit? Like, you owe a little bit of something to those people, all those people that came before you? Like, maybe the respection of your body? Maybe, like, looking upon yourself and realizing that there's more to life than just body washing? Four tacos that you just coated with like 15 different ingredients. You know, I get it. We do things a lot that are really that's really disrespectful to our palates. Like I've let I've let somebody pee in my mouth. I've peed in somebody's mouth, right? But I'm not doing it every day. Like I'm not sitting there whipping out my long john silver and just spraying shit down. Like I'm not doing that. And in the fact that this woman, like, I'm not joking with you. Okay, I'm not joking with you. Go ahead. You see her name right there, right? Go ahead. You see her name right there? It's it's Rima, whatever her name is. Go ahead, check her out. Go ahead. You're gonna see every day, every day, she doing this shit at least once or twice a day. Now, no joke. This might be the next level of Becky. Like Becky, she eats a lot of food. Don't get me wrong. She does. She eats a ton of food. Becky Jones. But this woman is unstoppable. This is like some pure big back behavior there's no other way to say it than that this woman is literally unstoppable i've never seen somebody like she finishes the food consistently consistently she'll finish the food damn mm. 
There's so much. There's so much food on the plate. I don't, I hate it when people put their fingers in their mouths. It's so gross to me. I just dislike it so heavily. I hate foods that make my hands greased up. I have, I'll use a fork. I'll use a knife. You don't let me use my hands. I just don't want to. I don't want to touch the food, okay? And the fact that this woman has no problem slimy, just sliding the slimy fingers in her mouth and just <sighs> slopping them down is, is just, to me, it's, it's the ick. It's the ick. What I say all the time. If it ain't messy, I don't want it. Damn, dude. Damn, she came from the other side. Mm. Woo. Oh. Mm. Duh. Mm -hmm. It's not that good. Some jalapenos is amazing. Come on, dude. You don't even taste them. Damn, bro. Calm down. Jeez, bro, you almost fucking body slammed your fingers on that last one. Whew. Scraped up that residue. Wow. Wow. This is what happens, dude. You eat like this too consistently, dude. This is something you can do like once a year. Like, this is the equivalent of eating Thanksgiving, right? When you eat Thanksgiving, what are you doing? You're going all out. You're having the turkey. You're having the pie. You're having the stuff and you're having the corn. You're having the potatoes. You have whatever the fuck, right? That's you're only doing that once a year. Maybe have leftovers the day before, right? Maybe I'm mostly doing it for three days. This woman having Thanksgiving dinner every day without failure too. And it's worse because at least with the turkey, it's somewhat healthy. The, the way you cook it, this shit is unhealthy through and through. There's nothing else I can say about this. It, it, she, she too consistently eats this shit daily. Y'all, damn! how big this motherfucking taco is. Like, it's so heavy. Damn. Whoa. Dude, she almost two-bited that shit. That's crazy, bro. Oh, my God. Oh. Baby, that meat is seasoned to perfection, okay? It, it almost doesn't even matter, right? It's, you know what it's like? You ever go over to somebody's house, and they go, Yeah, man, I'm about to make this food real quick, dog. It's going to taste real good. And then they make you the food, right? And they just coat it with ketchup. They just slurp up a, all the ketchup all over the food. The, those people don't actually care about what the flavor of the food is. Don't get me wrong. When I eat eggs, I throw a little bit of ketchup on the eggs, scrambled eggs, only scrambled eggs. I'm not crazy. Because I like the flavor of eggs and ketchup. But I don't put I don't put ketchup on my fries. I don't put ketchup on really anything at all. Because I like the flavor of the actual food itself. If you season something to perfection and then you coat it with sauces, like a ton of sauces, it doesn't matter at that point. You didn't actually, the seasoning doesn't matter. You might as well have not even wasted the money on the seasoning because you didn't give a fuck. You coated that shit with like layers and layers and layers of pro over processed, sa saturated, fatted fucking sauces. It doesn't matter at that point. Then when, so when you sit there and go, oh yeah, oh yeah, girl, mm, mm, girl, mm, the fucking, the fucking meat seasoned to perfection. Mm. I'm looking at that and I'm going, it don't matter. It doesn't fucking matter at that point, dude. It, it, it is just, at this point, it's just saucy meat. Oh, damn. Oh, 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 man. Fuck, bro. Sometimes you see food reviewers, right? Sometimes you, you see food reviewers, and they don't actually eat the food, right? Sometimes they'll take a few bites, and they'll go, guys, mm, guys, this shit right here, this shit good. This shit real good, guys. You got to get you some of this. This is good as fuck. Mm, hashtag get you some of that. And then they'll end the video after a few bites. This woman, I'll give her that. She swallows that shit all the way down. She's, on, she's down to the third one. She, 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 she ate three in a row right here. So there's no doubt about it. She does swallow these shits down. She does eat them completely. And this leaves, like, sometimes I want to believe that people are just, like, buying this crazy amounts of food, taking one or two bites, tossing it, because, like, what the fuck? I'm not eating all this shit. It's, like, thousands of fucking calories. What the fuck? You think I'm fucking dumb? I'm not going to murder myself. What the hell are you talking about? Throw this shit out the fucking window, right? Nah. This girl, she eats it. She fucking eats it. I'll give her that. Good job. I mean, it's not good, but at least you're consistent. At least you're honest with it. You know, at least you're doing that. 
Hey y'all, we went to Five Guys and we got a grilled cheese. That's, that's, that's not normal. How many patties though? How many patties is this? That's more than three, right? It's one, two, three, four, at least four. What do you mean a grilled cheese? What the fuck are you talking about a grilled cheese? Where, where is the, the cheese? Let me ask you something. One of the reasons why we call something a grilled cheese is because the cheese is the predominant thing within the sandwich, right? A grilled cheese. If you're sitting here telling me it's a grilled cheese and the biggest thing on the, on the sandwich is the, the meat, it just don't seem like it's a grilled cheese anymore. It just don't seem like that anymore. I'm just, am I wrong in saying that? I mean, I'm looking upon this delicacy right now, and I'm just not seeing a lot of cheese. I'm not. I mean, there is some on there, but... And the fries? And the fries, too? Five Guys, too, at that? Do you guys know how much a regular cheeseburger at Five Guys costs? It's like $11, okay? And do you know how many calories... Do you know how many calories a regular cheeseburger costs at Five Guys? Do you know how many? I'm going to tell you. 900 calories. Nine! Hundred and the fries, a thousand, <gasps> a thousand right off the bat. Okay, this shit has at least, and I think I see, I think I smell a little bit of, I think I smell a little bit of bacon on that shit too, and the sauces I don't even know about. I'm looking at at least four patties on that shit. There's got to be at least fifteen hundred calories, at least, right? Maybe even sixteen, not even counting the fries. What? with bacon and four patties i was gonna get six but i was like let me try four that's a crazy ass thing to say what the bitch what the fuck you just say I, you was talking about getting six dude can you imagine being the dude behind the counter and be like yeah ma'am can i can i take your order yeah what, what you looking for and she go yeah let me let me get uh four patties on my burger uh yeah four pa four huh how much you say real quick how much was that again what you say you want the double yeah let me get the double double. Let me get the double double. Yeah. <clears throat> the what? The double double? And she go, yeah, I was thinking about probably getting six, actually. <gasps> uh, six? Uh, are you sure six? What, six of them things? You know how much our calories are, right? It says right there, that's a lot of... Yeah, if you if I put four on, I don't even think I can count that high. It might I might just have to give you the receipt where it says the calories. It's just, it's just going to say a lot. Like, that's a crazy amount of calories. That's it's so much. And then I'm going to do six and four patties. I was going to get six, but I was like, let me try four and then I'm going to do six next time. That's. Oh, oh, oh my God. How you going to live? This is, this is not, this is, this is something like your blood sugar got to be in the fucking ceiling at this point, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, why, why you even have the ranch on the side like this? Bro, she got ketchup and she got the fucking BQ sauce on the side? God damn, bro, take off the jacket. Take off the jacket, it ain't gonna survive. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Of course, you know, I can't forget my pickle. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. I should have added three more slices of cheese. What you mean? There's not enough? You started with the cheese. How much more you need? Oh man. You know, this is one of the reasons why I really love America, because we can do stuff like this. But then sometimes I think like, what are we doing? Oh! Ah! Why you need to do this though? There are better, like I get it. It's like, it's for the memes or it's from the, it's for the content, but <sighs> I'm out of breath just watching you eat this shit, bro. You gonna start sweating after eating this. God damn. Holy shit, dude, that shit is moist. It's dripping. Mm. Oh. Look at this fucking thing, bro. Look at this fucking shit. Look at it. Look at it. Look at this shit. This is what you did. You. You watching this is what you did. Because you want people to make their own decisions. Look at this shit. 
What are you thinking about it? Gross. Disgusting. Abomination. Horrid. What is this? What are we doing? Why? Out of everything you could have made today, this is what you chose? Four patties and you were... You, you regretted putting two more on there? You regretted, oh man, I should have probably put two more on there. And I should have put a few more extra slices of cheese. How many slices of cheese she said? Like six, five, whatever she said. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I think that we maybe, it's good that we have the option to do this. But I just think sometimes we're going too far. I didn't think somebody would do it. I just did. I thought that maybe it would be something like, you know, maybe that one-off person, you know, but like this, this is kind of crazy. I didn't think that anybody would actually go this far. Oh, damn. 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 Dude, it's dripping, dude. She still got the fries, too. Ooh. Ooh, damn. 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 Oh. Oh, you got a piece of hair coming out of your mouth right there. I guess it don't matter, dude. Whatever. Oh, dude, mid-applying the barbecue sauce is crazy, dude. That's This is some serious obesity shit right here. Look at that face. Whoa. Whoa, bro. Oh. Oh. Cold water always gonna hit That's not water, dude. That might as well just be barbecue sauce. Mm. Sometimes I think that people put themselves in a bracket, right? And on TikTok especially, I see a lot of people making food content and they kind of they kind of like box themselves in, right? Cuz they do the food content, they get a lot of views, and then it kind of encourages you to continuously make that food content. And the food content has to be crazier and crazier and crazier, right? Maybe you just start off eating a lasagna. And then, you know, a few months later, I go back to your fucking TikTok page. And I see that you're having sex with the lasagna while you're eating it. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, damn, this shit feels so good. Oh, damn. This lasagna. Oh, woo, damn, this lasagna looking so right. You know what I'm talking about? This is that. That's the ultimate... That's that's ultimately what it leads to because if you I gotta be honest with you for a second you can't start off eating four patty burgers I just gotta keep it a buck you just can't do that because you're starting yourself off at a disadvantage that's end game that's end game you start off eating maybe a QP and then you go up to a maybe a QP maybe you put a little bit of like make chicken on the side you eat that right you don't start off at five guys eating a four patty burger with some fries okay you just don't do that. You don't do it, okay? You this is end game shit. All right, dude, you're already at the end game. What what else can you do at this, right? You're going to be able to do this for maybe a month. You're going to have to go into five guys and be like, "Let me get the nine patty burger. Let me get the nine patty burger. Put human meat on that shit now." Like that's what you're just going to have to go to. You're just going to have to get like Frederick in the back to cut off one of his fucking fingers and throw it on the cheeseburger to like add toppings to it because you've already eaten so many things at this rank. Like it's it's just like it's unfathomable that you can go any further than this. Like what what else can you do at this point, right? I don't know. I don't know. Fucking four patty burger, dude. And that's just dripping. That's just dripping harder than your girlfriend when she found out that I play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just, it's just, why would you go this far for this? She's finishing it, too. Wow. Fresh, fresh pickle, too. Ooh. Oh. Mm. It's not. It's not. Damn. Damn, that fuck, dude, at the rate this woman is going, she gotta have, like, an armada. She's gotta have, like, an entire, <sighs> she's gotta have so many bottles of this fucking barbecue sauce in the fridge or whatever she's putting this shit, because there is no way she's not going through two, three bottles a day. Look at the barbecue sauce applying. She already applied this shit three times on the burger. I don't know why you need to put so much sauce on the burger, but, I mean, that's what she's doing, I guess. Oh, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn. It's gone. There's no more. No more. It's just unfathomable. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you doing this to yourself? Oh, it's so much. There's so much grease. Oh shit. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm out of breath just watching that shit, bro. This woman is unfathomable, dude. Whew. Go ahead, check out her content, dude. She makes great content. She's an amazing person. Um, she smells really great. I promise this, she doesn't smell like barbecue sauce. She, I don't know if she takes showers after these videos. I would recommend she does. I don't know how you can eat this shit and still be okay at the end of this shit. Like, if it were me and I ate that shit, I'd be wobbling getting up. I'd be like, you know, falling out of my fucking chair because like, my body's disoriented after eating all those fucking calories in one sitting. And the fact that she's sitting there going, man, I should have really probably got the six patty burger. I don't even know. I didn't even know five guys would even consider something like that. That is some truly big back behavior. That is some omega level big back behavior, dude. Like Thanos himself was looking at that shit going, <gasps> you know, maybe the snap shouldn't have been random. Maybe it should have like, no, I'm fucking with you, dude. Come on. This woman is amazing. She's awesome. She's fantastic. She's a beautiful person. But um, this behavior, I, I just can't believe she's doing this shit on the daily. I, I recommend that she probably doesn't do that. I hope that, you know, she, um, she lives a good healthy life because this shit is unsustainable but anyway we're gonna end the video here i hope everybody enjoyed today's video if you did let me know by leaving a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things would help me grow in the algorithm so if you could do any of that stuff for me i would appreciate you tremendously i do appreciate you tremendously thank you anybody that's subscribed anybody that's a member of the channel by the way you can become a member after you click subscribe and then you hit the join notification right after that but if you don't want to do that that's fine felix say hello to felix davina Beautiful Davina, purple, pi sorry, pink pillow. Leave it down below. Pink pillow. If you watch the video in its entirety and you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in pink pillow. Do you guys like the pink pillow? It's nice, isn't it? Anyway, guys, you're beautiful. You're spectacular. You're amazing. I know you wouldn't be the type of person that'd go into a Five Guys and ask for a four burger. That's kind of crazy. That's insane, dude. You're literally just body washing potentially thousands of calories for almost nothing, but. You know what? P different people have different priorities in their life, right? Some people want to expedite the life. Me personally, I just want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And I want to do it without having arthritis. And, uh, you know, for you, it's obviously being beautiful, but you've already obtained that. So I don't even know at this point. Like, you're already the most pinnacle of beauty that you can possibly be. You smell really good today, by the way. What is that? What is that aroma you got on? What is that? What do you, what do you call that? smell goodish that smells really goodish whatever that is really good really desirable you smell really awesome i love your smell and your your scent it smells really good wow really really good but anyway guys we're gonna end the video here if you want to check my social media it'll be linked down below in the description it's just my instagram twitter discord all those things will be listed down below in the description of this channel and the description of this video enjoy the rest of your day guys